So now we're going to create this remove dialog method. So after the last one, just comma, remove dialog function, and two curly brackets again. Inside of this one, we simply use outline and remove. And also the same thing for tools. So tools dot remove. And that's everything inside of this remove dialog. What we now have to do is obviously to trigger all these uh, uh, methods when the specific event occurs. So if we scroll down and after our last one, image img live, create a few new lines. And we're gonna start with the save tag button. So save tag, we have live and click event function. And if someone clicked on this button, what we want to do is to call image tag save tag uh, method and then return false after this. So this is when someone clicks on the button. There's also an option when someone just simply types in something and hits enter. So this is the key press event. We're going to start with tag name, which is our input field, live key press function. And we use the event here as parameter. And we check if e dot which equals 13, which is enter. Then what we want to do is uh, call exactly the same method and also do return false. So it's exactly the same thing. Now, if we save the file, go back to our browser, refresh, click somewhere, type some name, let's say Amanda and hit enter nothing happens. That means obviously we have some problems. If I go to the database and check our tax table, just to check if we've got any records, no, it doesn't show anything. So if I cl uh, try to click on save, exactly same situation, nothing's happening. So there is some problem here with our files. The best way to do it is to use a fireback. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh the page again, use the console tab, I'm going to click and put again name Amanda, hit enter, and there we go. Parse integer, tooltip height. Okay, the name, as you can see, I've misspelled the name here. So if we go back, line 75. So if I scroll up to the line 75, there we go. Tooltip height, it's not okay. Tooltip should be this way, obviously. Two O, not two L's. Now, if I save it. I go back to the browser, refresh. Again, I'm going to click and put the name Amanda, hit enter, and there we go. Our uh, outline as well as the tools have disappeared. Let's look at the answer, the response from the, from the file which we got. All these elements seem to be working fine. Now the name is here displayed. If we go to the database, browse it, uh, browse our tax table, you can now see that our record has been added. View top, view left, tooltip top and tooltip left, as well as the right image ID. So it seemed to be working. Now, obviously, when we mouse over the, the name here, we should see the outline as well uh, as when we hover over the, the outline, we should see the tooltip. So these are the things we're going to be working on next.